All right guys, I'm Brian Super here at Springfield BJJ. We're gonna go over some extension to the arm drag that we talked about. Um, again, this series is specifically for those of you guys involved in law enforcement. So uh, again, that is grabbing, pushing, pulling. He has uh, his arm extended and he, he's here to my, my shoulder. I'm gonna raise my hand like I have a question, circle and cup the elbow, and then from here, look, I drag down, circle around and get behind him. Now, the, the first option that we show, we escort him um, to wherever we need to go or out of uh, uh, the, the situation altogether. Uh, what we're going to do now is uh, talk about uh, a more resisting of, uh, uh, suspect or, or attacker. Okay? Um, as we go to escort him out or push him away, okay, he's resisting. Okay? A lot of times this is when um, the, the punch or the elbow or something is going to come our direction. So we don't want to stand here and just kind of be in the stalemate. So what we're going to do is we're going to show an option that will get him to the ground safely um, without uh, putting ourselves in danger or anything like that. Uh, at the same time, isn't going to be picking someone up and slamming them to the ground, which a lot of times is going to um, more cause injury than uh, establish control. So in this situation, we're going to escort Matt out. He's resisting, he's resisting. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a big step and try to make my outside foot or my right foot even with his right foot. From here, my left foot is going to come through and kick to the calf or right above the Achilles. I keep control of this arm to allow me, myself to uh, establish knee on the belly. Once I get knee on the belly, it's very easy for me to control him. Now, you could put the knee more on the ribs, but this is going to be uh, more inducive to, to cause injury. So what I'm really trying to do here is I'm trying to establish control and affect his breathing. This is going to make it very uh, uncomfortable for him and difficult for him to move. From here, my knee goes to the center of the belly and drives up and towards what's called the xiphoid process, that little knob down there at the middle of your rib cage. So from here, I'm going to control the elbow and keep him here in order to um, turn him over maybe and control uh, behind his back and then start pinning his arms behind him here. Okay, so uh, one more time. Matt goes to push, pull, grab. I'm gonna raise my hand like I have a question, get behind him. I go to escort him out of the building, kick his foot, and then come through here. Once I'm in this position, I keep control of the elbow and keep my knee here to the belly. I wanna make sure that I'm almost like a bow and arrow effect here. I'm pulling onto the arm as I drive my knee to the, the, the ground, okay? From here, this leg stays extended like a kickstand, but not fully. I want to be here where I can still drive and stay moving with a moving opponent. Okay. All right, guys. Enjoy. Thank you.